You've been taught Venn diagrams wrong, and let me show you why. Because first of all, there's a nice relationship between Venn diagrams and the classical truth table, PQ, false, 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 true, true, false, and true, true, given as follows. If P is a proposition X is in A, and Q is a proposition X is in B, then each line of the table corresponds to a region in the Venn diagram. For example, false, false, means x is in neither a or b. False true means x is only in b. True false means x is only in a. And true true means x is in both a and b. But then, for three sets, there should be eight regions. So let's see if that's true. And in fact, for three sets, this is true, because you can count the regions 1, 2, 3, four, five, six, seven, eight. But the question is, what about four sets? Then as they say, Houston, we have a problem because turns out here we don't have 16 regions because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So only 14 regions. And you may wonder, what went wrong? Well, it turns out you have been taught Venn diagrams wrong because for circles, it's not the optimal shape to represent them. Because the two regions that are not here are regions where they're only A and C, and only B and D. Turns out you can't make them not overlap. So the question is, what should you use instead of circles? You should use ellipses. Because if instead you use this pi-am diagram, like a Venn diagram but cooler, and use ovals instead of circles, where here this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D, then in fact you get 16 regions. Because here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and then everything is represented that way. But it turns out there are also other shapes that are quite nice to represent Venn diagrams. And by the way, Wikipedia has wonderful shapes that you should look at. Because what if you insist of having three circles, then D would have to be this weird monster shape here. And you can check that, in fact, this does give you 16 regions as well. And I believe for five sets, you can add another kind of blob, and that would make it work. But there are other cool configurations, which I want to show you now. Because you could also have two rectangles, one being A, B, and then the circle C, and then this blob D. That would also work. And the nice thing is, this generalizes to five sets or more, because if you want a fifth set, you would just draw the following other blob, a thing like this. Let me see, yeah, like this. I think that might work. So that would be your set E. And I forgot what that's called. But mm, you could also add other things, like another kind of blob. And again, I might draw this wrong, but I'm trying uh, kind of like this. Kind of like this. That would also be your set F. So. Uh, press F for poorly drawn diagrams, I guess. And I think there's also a model where you use like for every I sine of 2 to the I n, uh, I x, and then that will also generate a nice picture of Venn diagrams. And of course, you could also have three dimensional things. So, um, which again, you know, it's quite interesting because you always taught the disks or the circles, which it works for three sets, but it turns out, again, not optimal for higher level sets. All right, I hope you found this interesting. And if you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.